So I have a question from Ava, which is, why does life exist? And that's a really hard question to answer. It's one that scientists are still trying to work out. We know that life does exist, we find it everywhere on the Earth, and we're hoping to find it elsewhere, beyond the Earth. That's one of the things we'll be looking at in the next 10 or 20 years. But to as to how life got started, nobody's really sure. There are a few ideas that have been put together. And they are all based around the idea that life started very simple and has gradually become more complicated. The idea goes back to chemistry, the question of how different atoms and molecules bond together and form different compounds, like water, like carbon dioxide, like sugar. Now on the Earth when it was very young, there were a lot of places where chemistry could happen in liquid water and get very complicated. And they're the places that people think are the most likely candidates mm -hmm for the origin of life, for life getting started. One of the areas that people are really interested in is the coast, the places where you get high tides and low tides. Now when the Earth was young, the Moon was much, much closer to the Earth, and that meant the tides were much bigger, you got much higher high tides and much lower low tides. And that means the area that got covered by the ocean and then uncovered again at low tide was really big. And people think that that might be one place that life could have got started in the pools that are left behind when the tide pulls out, that left little cauldrons where chemistry could happen and where more and more complicated molecules could form until you got something that we could call life. It's a really difficult problem though and nobody's really found an answer to it. And so it's a really good question and one that I think may not be solved even in the next few years and could even be something you could work on in the future when you become a scientist.